What's happening, ladies and gentlemen? How you doing? It's your boy, The Multitasker, and welcome back again to another reaction. I'm doing good so far. Just nothing usual out of the ordinary other than being lazy and picking up some new comics, especially the serial issue of Empire Adventures. At least I know that, that the, the, the event is still going to happen. That will will somewhere at the time of the upcoming of, of July. So I am look forward to see how this plays out. Anyways, I got a new request from Shadow and looks like I'm going to be reacting to of the title known as Jobbers related to popular WWE wrestlers. And when you hear the word Jobbers, it's just another word for just a random wrestler. Just basically just want to have a little bit of a... I guess you could say a little 15 minute fame and have a match with a superstar that probably going to get his ass kicked and rightfully so. But there are some who are actually related to the superstars. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. And when, and when I say related to, I'm talking about family related. So without further ado, it's time to react. Jobbers, or local competitors, are usually wrestlers whose names don't carry any star power. This isn't always the case though. Some of those random performers who appear for one night just to get beaten up are actually related to hugely popular wrestlers. Let's dig through the archives and take a look. After saving Daniel Bryan from a post-match attack by Mark Henry on a 2011 episode of SmackDown, Big Show got ready for a match of his own. The Giant took on three local wrestlers, one of whom was related to the two-time Divas champion, Paige. The competitor in the Black Trunks is named Zack Zodiac, as the brother of the anti-diva. Zodiac oh, and his teammates started so off okay, Paige's but brother. a chop and a choke slam yeah. were enough to put Paige's sibling away. Unfortunately for Zack, this did not lead to a WWE contract. Before he was handing out bootios and pancakes, Big E was destroying people down in NXT. On November 7th of 2012, the future New Day member got into the ring with a man named Mimo Montenegro. While he didn't enter with a car or a personal re-announcer, Montenegro was actually the brother of Alberto Del Rio. While his sibling was really? a two-time WWE Champion, Mimo didn't fare so well and was quickly taken out by Big E. Montenegro had one more televised yeah. match in NXT, his opponent was, ironically, Xavier Woods. While oh. this match was a bit more competitive, <laughs> the end result was still the same. Sadly, Mimo Montenegro never got a wrestle against the final New Day member, Kofi Kingston. About a month after Dolph Ziggler won the World Heavyweight Championship, back when Ziggler won world titles, his younger brother Bradley Pierce was debuting on NXT. Pierce took oh, on Sakamoto, so... but only about a minute in, and He's Connor O'Brien okay. interrupted and laid out both competitors. The next week, Bradley teamed up with his former opponent to try and take down O'Brien. Even though the advantage was in the hands of the show off's brother, he still walked away in defeat. Two weeks after that, Bradley Pierce had his final NXT match as one of the participants in an 18-man battle royal. Unfortunately, Pierce was the second wrestler eliminated after his former tag partner, Sakamoto. What's funny is that this match aired almost two weeks after Bradley Pierce announced his release from the company. Kind of a shame, I was interested to see where Pierce and Sakamoto's tag team could have gone, but then again, Bradley did kind of look and perform like an off-brand Dolph Ziggler. On the SmackDown mm -hmm. after WrestleMania 24, Vladimir Kozlov made his WWE debut against a ponytailed man named Matt Bentley. While it certainly wasn't brought up on commentary, Bentley's cousin had just competed at WrestleMania five nights earlier, that being Shawn Michaels. Yep, the man who was fed to WWE's latest Russian star was related to one of the greatest wrestlers of all time. As you'd expect, Matt Bentley took a decent amount of abuse before being laid out for the pin. It's worth mentioning, too, that Bentley had a handful of WWE matches in the early 2000s, with much of the same results. After defeating The Miz and Damian Mizdow on the last Raw of 2014, the Ascension walked into the new year looking to keep their momentum going. That wasn't going to be too hard, as on the January 2nd episode of SmackDown, they took on two local competitors. One of Conor and Victor's opponents was Lance Anawahi, and his cousins are the Usos and Roman Reigns. On top of that, being a member of the yeah. Anawahi family, he has a relation to just about every Samoan wrestler who's ever been in WWE. Lance didn't start yeah. as the legal man, and probably wished it stayed that way, because as soon as he was tagged in, he was hit by a splash and the fall of man before game pinned. Well, two years later, in 2017, correct. the Samoan wrestler got another shot when he appeared on NXT, wearing almost exactly the same attire he wore two years ago. 
While just about what? everything else was different, the end result was still the same. The cousin of Jimmy, Jay, and Roman was quickly taken down by one half of the authors of Pay, Rezar. AOP dished out a bit more punishment before hitting the last chapter for the victory. Jump ahead another two years and Lance appeared on Raw. While feuding with Roman Reigns, Shane McMahon challenged a member of Reigns' family to a match. It was Lance Anawahi who answered the call. But oh, considering what happens next, oh, right. he probably should have let it go to oh, voicemail. Drew McIntyre got the drop on Lance before the bell rang and softened up the Anawahi member. Once the match did begin, Shane McMahon had it pretty easy. Despite the unfair advantage, Lance made a comeback and got a bit of offense in, but McMahon ultimately won the match. The pain continued though, as Shane and Drew followed up with another attack on Lance. Finally, Rowan Reigns intervened and sent his adversaries packing before checking on his cousin. So which relation surprised you the most? For me, it was probably Dolph Ziggler's brother Bradley Pierce, since I never knew the show off had a younger sibling, much less too. one that was a wrestler. Leave your answer in the comments and give the video on the right a watch for some more fun. I'm Zach from Tap Out Corner, and take it easy. Well, if you ask me, the first one that, that I was surprised and I should have known, and, oh crap, I forgot his name, but, but you get what I'm saying, that, 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 that that's Paige's brother, and because I, I remember seeing the, t the trailers of the biopic movie that's, that I believe is called It Runs the Family. And yeah, she and her brother did compete in amateur wrestling, and that actually made it to the, to the company. And I'm still I'm still surprised that, that that dude happens to be the brother of Dolph Ziggler. That that's that, that's crazy. Yeah, that was the time that I didn't didn't get to watch it on WWE Network until which is I'm I'm, I'm still currently the, the, the for today, but yeah. Definitely, it's it's family related that they just wanted to have a little, and I'm talking about a little piece of the to have it what it to be to fill in those shoes to be in the wrestling ring, even though you're gonna get your ass kicked, but still, I mean it's still just part of the business though. Well, thank you, Shadow, and this is where I'm gonna end this video. So. If you enjoyed this, let's leave it a likes and also leave a comments down below. I'm Mighty Adventure signing out, but I will catch y'all in the next video. So peace out, everyone, and good night.